And people from around the country have donated clothing, food, and other items to survivors of the December 10th tornado. One family is getting a new home donated to them, thanks to an Evansville area family and some firefighters. On the road to recovery, Eyewitness News Mike Pickett was there as the home made its way to its new owners. It was in this area where Crystal Monahan and her parents once lived at the time of the tornado. And now it will be in this area where a new mobile home will be placed as the family continues their road to recovery. This two-bedroom, two-bathroom mobile home, recently remodeled, once belonged to Judy Biggie and her family for more than 20 years. I bought it and all my children have lived in it as they grew up and moved out of the house. I have five kids. So they lived in it, we've rented it, and my last son moved out of it, uh, bought a home a few months ago, and so I thought, what are we going to do with this? What she did was donate it to Monaghan, who lost hers more than three months ago. A little bit overwhelmed, excited, um, just happy. Um, thankful, very, very thankful. Who was also still coping with the loss of her parents who died in the tornado. My mom, she was like five foot nothing, but she was full of, you know, fire and energy. And my dad, I mean, he was, uh, he was the best dad anyone could have ever asked for. Pastor Darrell Bryce of Connection Church, who is also chaplain of McCutcheonville Fire Department, says he worked with the Monahans in their tornado recovery. The Biggie family reached out to him after learning about their need for a new home. God has just really made a way, and he has put all the pieces into place. It's just like a big puzzle. He's put all the people in all the right places to make all this happen. Monahan, who escort drives oversized vehicles for a living. Well, I've done a lot of windmill projects, windmill blades, tower sections. Escorted her new home from Vandenberg County to her home just west of Dawson Springs in Caldwell County. It's going to be home, and um, I'm happy. I'm, I'm just, I'm overjoyed. Monahan also says that her daughter and her grandson, who also lost their home in the tornado, will be living with her here for the time being. In Caldwell County, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.